Hello everyone. Today on Julia vs Python, we will learn about strings. So let's start. This one will be for Python, and then this is already Julia. So what is a string? A string is an example of a string is in Python. A string can be something like a say string one is equal to this is a string so when you print it this has going to be this is a string so if you if you want to know whether it's truly a string you enter this so it is a the class is a string in Julia this can be a string this is how you do string in Julia string is equal to the same thing is similar the same as is it is so you enter type of to know the kind of whether it is truly a string and then it's going to give you that it's a string so this is how a string is done it's a normal string sometimes you want to write a sentence like string 2 it's called to like maybe with the postal field so it's better you use something like this this is this isn't a string if you make it only one apostrophe one quote or quotation mark for example like this is going to work this is going to give you a correct result but in case you make it like make it three in case you make it like this although you have put it well but it's not going to give you it's going to give you an error because it's reading it as 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 a quotation so the best way is either you do it like this no it's before slash either you do it like this so that it's see is working so that when you print print string three it's going to give it to you correctly or you can make it like this instead of you bringing the backslash you can make these ones double quotes and then this one also double quotes and then when you print it it's going to work perfectly in julia you can also do some, some similar like that so let's try string two is called to let's make it the first one this is a string this no, let's make it this isn't a string let's see whether it's going to work it's giving us an error because it's seeing this as as such so let's try and see whether if we can also apply the same formula for Python and see whether it's still giving us a mistake. So why is it like that? So let's try and see. In Julia, giving one quotation is usually for character. So this is going to give you an, an accurate result. Let's omit this and see even if you make it one character, it's going to give you an error because it's seeing it as a character it's supposed to be a character single quotations are for characters so for example if i make it string character it's going to let's say a it's going to give us a correct result let me find it type and see how it's going to be by clicking on tab you see that's giving us as a character so for for julia Characters are you in characters for characters we use a single quote but for a string we use double quotes or triple quotes. So this is one aspect of a string aspect. So let's see another form of manipulation of strings in Julia and then in Python. Let's make it like this.
some okay so let's try again so for for finding length in in python is quite simple let's say again string julia let's say no, string one string is string one is equal to julia this is python so if you want to find the length of it you do length then string one you're going to give it a length with the 60 characters and the 16 different characters but for and then the same thing can happen for julia so in julia is going to be string one it's called to julia this is python well, you can't make it length, but your own is length. Length string one. It's going to give you sixteen. So this is one of the ways of knowing the strings, the length of the string in Julia and then in Python. Another thing you can also do for the string is there is formats like uppercase, lowercase, and so forth. So for for example, if you want to get all this in uppercase. You can do it like let's make it slower key so that you will try it and see Julia versus Python. See what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, so something like this. So it's going to be for Python, it is quite different. You make it like this string one dot upper, then this is going to give you all of them in upper uh, upper upper case. If you want it in lower case, you also do the same thing. Lower case. It's going to give you all of them in lower case. In Julia, you can also do something similar. So this is it. Let's make it lower cases. And then so that you can just see how it is. Python, yes. So let's try and see how, how you will do this. For Julia, it's going to be quite different you break the lower case let's make it upper case upper case first then you bring the string so either string is either string one and it's going to keep, see it's totally different this one you have to bring the string before you bring the upper this one you bring the upper key before you bring the string same can happen if you want to make it lower case lower you're going to put all of them in lower cases and there's one nice thing about these two so so the same thing can be done in two different aspects in both of the programming another aspect too is we can also call what they call slicing splitting or slicing so if you want to know the number of words there so for julia let's make it from python if you want to it's going to if you want to select each and every of the word you can make it like string one then it's going to give you u it's not going to give you one because in python they start from zero then one two three four five so that's how it's done but in julia they start from zero so in the same case in julia it's going to be string one one it's not going to give me u it's going to give me J. You see, that's how it is. So in Julia, they start from from one, but in Python, we start from zero. So for this, if you want to find all the values in it, you can just use these rules. Either you make it like maybe till five, you're going to print all of them till that Julia. Same thing can be done here. You're going to print it up to here because it's starting from. See, it's going to see it's totally different from this. Okay, and then another one is that for you to print from the backwards in Python, you can do something like minus one. So that's starting from the backwards. Oh, I made a mistake. So we bring in the last one, which is n. But for Julia, we don't do something, you don't do it like that. You can do n by putting n at the back, it's going to print for you the last digit. It is one nice thing about this strength. Okay, let's move on to another aspect.
sorry for this okay let's move on to another aspect so if you want us to find the number what what whatever is inside inside something so let's use the same backwards words we're using and then for julia let's try the same thing so if you want to find a word which is contained inside this so you can for python you can just make it like uh let's say it's you in is you in string one we're going to give you true in julia 2 you can you can do something like that or you can do it like contains which is quite simple and then you bring the string let's say the entire string like this then you bring the word you let's make it you and it's true because it's, it's found inside it so there's a different way you can do it in julia and then in python so you can use these ones to search for ways to find ways whether they are found within Another thing you can also do is you can also replace words inside. So if you want to replace a word, maybe you want to replace the word Python with something else. In Python, you just enter like let's say string one is equal to I want to replace string one dot replace. So I want to replace this word Julia. I want to place Julia with JSEC. So it's going to replace it for you in Python. In Julia, you can only do something similar. You see that most of in Python, you have to bring the string before you bring the whatever function, whatever process you want to do. But in Julia, you bring it first. So it's going to be replace them to bracket. A string that you want so string right string one so let's yeah string one let's see whether you can do it like this if it's possible and I want to replace the word a uh, python python with replacing the word python with a uh, let's say Cobra, <laughs> of course. So let's see that. See that has changed the word Python with Cobra. There's one way you can also do it in <laughs> in in Julia. That is quite nice. So there are several things that you can be doing with this. You can also split. You can also split a particular word using the same formula. So maybe I want to. Maybe I want to split, split. I want to split every word with every uh, every instance of an an empty space. So like this. Hope it works. Hope it works. Yes. So you see that it has splitted every word and then giving it to us in this way. Python, you can also do something similar. By bringing the word first, split, and then you will whatever word you want to split. So, we want to split the word, we want to split a dash like this. So, it's also going to split it into two so that because using the spaces which is found within the word, so this is quite nice. This all for today if you like this i want you to subscribe and then share with your friends if you have any questions you can put it in the comments below thank you and stay blessed